Hey, good Monday morning, everybody. This is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Boy, do we have kind of a mess of a week ahead. We've got the potential for some significant severe weather in the Carolinas and a really big severe weather outbreak in the middle of the country starting today. On top of that, serious flooding situation. Here's a look at the current radar uh, satellite watches, warnings, and uh, current temperatures. You can see what's going on in the middle of the country. It's just been a mess for the last three or four days. A stalled frontal system has been parked there, but now we're getting some upper level energy which is coming across the middle of the country. And uh, if, you, if you take a look at some of these uh, features coming in the upper levels, you see this 500 millibar vorticity rotating down and also very strong jet stream winds which are going to energize this stalled front. So as active as this stalled front has been, in the last three to four days, it's likely going to get a lot stronger as we go into later today and especially Tuesday and Wednesday. Something else that's going to be kind of an interesting feature, remember that little swirl we had in the, in the tropics that really had no chance of developing. The shear is just ridiculous down there. Water temperature is too warm, but that little disturbance is still down there. That disturbance may help add some moisture and some instability and shear as it gets evicted into this area because there's high pressure sitting off the east coast of the United States. We've got this stalled front, strong jet stream digging in, and all of this moisture getting plumed up. You can see the cloud streets setting up here as the moisture streaming in from the Gulf of Mexico and then over the Carolinas and Florida you can see it's streaming in of off of the Atlantic. So this is just a, a plain old mess that's going to start to develop here in the next 12 hours or so. Here's the jet stream winds. These are the jet streams. Watch this jet streak um, start to come in through the Rockies. I mean look at this thing. It's 150 knot winds coming in rotating around this low and then sweeping into the plains. I mean the divergent flow here is going to be really impressive which is going to create a lot of lift across areas of North Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas into the Ohio Valley and eventually that's going to shift to the east. Up here in the corner you can see uh, this area is helicity, very strong helicity building especially right along the warm front and cold front here in northern Arkansas into parts of uh, uh, Oklahoma and even into Missouri. Visible satellite image you can see what's going on here. Storms are already exploding this afternoon across the middle of the country. So as we take a look at the Cape uh, this is a 72 hour loop and this is pretty impressive when you look at this. Um, all the yellows are 1500 or higher uh, in the Cape. Look at all this Cape and you can actually see that little disturbance rotating in through the Bahamas and coming up through Florida. That looks like it has its eyes set on the Carolinas but look at the amount of fuel that these storms are going to have to work with here in the next 72 hours. That's three whole days that this front will take to move through. You can see it actually starts to move through and it looks like the worst weather in the Carolinas may actually end up being Wednesday night into Thursday. So as we take the, take a look at the uh, um, future radar here, this is our, our RPM model or our future cast. Notice the moisture streaming up. There's our little disturbance. Look at that line. That's one of those uh, QLCSs, that quasi-linear convective system where you got all kinds of squiggles going on and just a mess and the mountains may end up getting some severe weather. There's also a possibility ahead of that line we're going to see numerous bouts of supercell thunderstorms moving through but you can see right there, we'll stop it right there, um, that is basically going to be early Thursday morning, late Wednesday night Thursday morning that we'll likely see uh, the worst of the weather moving into here and the flood potential even though it's not going to be primarily in the Carolinas really got to talk about this in the middle of the country. A lot of people that live in the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley, Mississippi Valley, all those purples if you look there, that's major flooding already occurring, moderate flooding in the red and it's just going to get worse here in the next 24 hours or so. So we'll be keeping an eye on this. The worst of the weather for us, if you look down on the blog here, I've got the outlooks from the Storm Prediction Center for both Tuesday and Wednesday. I really think a, a Tuesday will be scattered severe storms, but Wednesday and Thursday will probably be our worst day. And of course, we'll keep an eye and our thoughts and prayers will be to everybody here in the middle of the country as they endure not only severe weather, but some huge epic flooding, which is pretty, pretty much unprecedented uh, in this part of the country since I would say the late 80s, maybe 90s when we had training thunderstorms in that summer along the Mississippi River Valley. So there's going to be some incredible crust here and flooding seems to be always one of those things, it's a slow and painful process that people have to go through when they see that water rise and trying to protect their home. That's the latest today. Of course, stay tuned to News Channel 36. We'll keep you up to date, and we'll be looking out for you as the severe weather moves our way.